Good morning and welcome to another day of March daily vlogs. It is Wednesday today, so it's a working day for me, but obviously I'm still working at home at the moment. It's about eight o'clock in the morning, so we're starting the vlog early today. I'm about to get my boots on and take my youngest daughter, Phoebe, to school. It's a really sunny day again today. And then I'm gonna get back. I've been passing up pins already this morning. And the other thing we need to do today is completely empty our bedroom with everything we've taken the radiator off everything everything except for the bed which will move first thing tomorrow Hi. Phoebe's here you're supposed to be getting your shoes on I have one on go and get both of them on um because the plasterer is coming tomorrow and he'll be here for the next two days um plastering the bedroom and after that hopefully things will start to feel a bit easier because we can put things well they won't start feeling easier Let's face it, we've still got to paint it and get the wardrobes in. Anyway, stop yammering, get my boots on and do the school run. I am suffering from severe overwhelm today got quite a bit of work to do got some um, posts to schedule for the next sort of few days and over the next week and I need to think about some um, future things and clear up my inbox a bit but I've also later on today um, after work got to parcel up all my pin orders which is fun I enjoy it but it's still something that needs to be done so I'll need to take them to the post office tomorrow in order to post them in a timely fashion uh, and I need to finish organising things for Dan's birthday and make him an entire cake and empty the bedroom ready for the plaster coming tomorrow. So it's all crushing a little bit on top of me at the moment. So I'm just going to make myself a list, I think, that I can just work through in order. And I might even make myself a timed list. I always have a little book, one of my favourite little books that I get in the French supermarkets whenever we're in France. I stock up on them, which are these... Um, ones they've got squared paper in um i don't know why i'm showing you a close-up of squared paper I'm, I'm pretty sure you know what it looks like <laughs> um so i've got my my sort of ongoing list in here and i'm just going to make myself a list purely for today um so that i know that i can slot everything in also i've just remembered lily has got a flute lesson on zoom this afternoon so i have to work out where she can do that because normally she does that up in the bedroom so that we've got the kitchen clear to cook that she might have to go in the living room anyway that's just me thinking out loud so I'm gonna make my list and then crack on with some work I leave what's left of last night It's just past midday. I've had my head down all morning and I've had a really productive few hours, but I'm reaching the point where I need a bit of a break. So I'm gonna use this time now to start moving stuff out of our bedroom. We don't live in a large house and we don't have a spare room. So basically everything that's in our bedroom has to find a place to live from today, Wednesday, until Saturday when the plastering is finished. And it will still be going off, but we can move stuff back into the room. So it's going to have to go all over the house. And that's what I'm going to start doing now. Right, I think what I'm going to do for some of the things, so I've got quite a few boxes and things that have come out of the wardrobes. And I think I'm going to put some towels in the bath to protect the bath and use the bath as a storage area. So we won't be able to have a bath for a few days, but don't worry, we won't be unclean. We have a shower. <laughs> in the loft in a different area of the house so i think that's what i'm going to do now i'm going to go and prepare the bath and start putting things in it i walk until my feet are hurting and i need to keep on going I can't keep my mind off 
things I'd be better off to leave behind Gotta be careful not to get stuck And so I walk and I keep on walking up and down the stairs about 20 times putting stuff everywhere and I never thought the day would come when these words would come out of my mouth but I've just broken a nail <laughs> I've bitten my nails my whole life and recently I started painting them which stopped me biting them and I seem to have slowly got out of the habit which at the age of almost 44 <laughs> it's quite impressive so I'm really proud of myself but I've just broken my best one <sighs> never mind I shall gently file it down I might paint my nails later just to stop me nibbling at it now it's all raggedy well, I'm starving now and normally I go for a really healthy lunch well that's not true as healthy as I can manage but I just can't do it today. I can't. I don't fancy salad. Don't fancy anything. I think I'm just gonna basically eat a bagel. Don't judge me. Got my lovely basket of yarn here. This was usually on the chest of drawers next to the bed. It's all yarns I've been sort of peering at and having sort of thoughts about and making plans for. So I've got some really beautiful ones here. This is elderflower stitches. The colour is lemon drizzle cake my favourite colour and my favourite cake and this was a gift from my lovely friend Rachel for my birthday last year I've got two skeins here that I dyed myself I solar dyed these actually in the heat of last summer um, I can't remember which video I spoke about it if I can find it I'll pop a link to it underneath about how I did that I dyed them using the heat of the sun and they're both Christmas colourways I've named, I can't remember what I called them now. So they're going to be socks, Christmas socks. I've got some lovely minis from um, Beaches and Birdsong. Absolutely beautiful minis. These were a part of a, a club that I signed up for. I'm not going to show you everything. I've got some lovely um, Christmas yarn here from uh, Suzanne at Green Lumpkin Yarns. I know not all of my followers on this channel are, are yarny nuts but I know a lot of you are <laughs> this is called fairy light glow oh I just love this my plan is to make myself lots of Christmas socks but I just never seem to find the time so they're all here ready my lovely friend Becky back to blighty this year was the first year in a few years that we haven't been able to meet up in person just before Christmas but she gave me this a couple of years ago and it's her past the quality streets colourway um, I've got a lovely hedgerow yarns one here this was a surprise from Helen of Flora Honeypot um, I was nominated for a care package isn't that lovely such a beautiful colour it's called fallen leaves so it reminds me of my favourite season which is autumn and this is a yarn I dyed myself which I always thought I'd turn into a hat but yet again I haven't done it. Not enough hours in the day. Now they don't fit back in the basket. I'm gonna have to fiddle about with them in a minute. But first my bagel. Cause I can't keep my mind off things I'd be better off to leave behind. Gotta be careful not to get stuck. And so I too late to go back now. The room is hang on how do i do this let's go from this end there's right the room is put there's our bed there's a bathroom full of stuff the rail is in here until tomorrow and then we go all the way around to here the room is empty we're now going to take the radiator off and then i'm going to get back to work for the rest of the afternoon and I've got to make a cake. A cake or four? And at the end of the road. Dan is angry with a screw. 
he was swearing at it. He's gone to get some kind of tool to help him deal with the uh, screw. Here he comes. You okay? Uh-huh. Do you want to talk? No. <laughs> Let's leave him to his battle with the screw. I just want to show you now my reality. So we live in a terrace house which we've established earlier in March vlogs was built in around 1905 which makes it Edwardian not Victorian which is a good point which also explains actually so we've always thought of it as Victorian just because our previous house was Victorian and a lot of the older houses on this road are Victorian but actually yes if it was built around 1905 which we're not entirely sure it was it would be Edwardian but looking at it as a house that would be very correct because it has very high ceilings, very big windows and very big rooms, which is more typical of Edwardian than Victorian. I say that after about five minutes of Google investigation and try to make myself sound like an expert, but <laughs> I've probably just said a lot of incorrect things. Um, so, yes, my point was everything from the bedroom, we don't have a spare room, is now all over the house. There's stuff in Lilia's room in the loft extension, the stuff in Phoebe's room, uh, the bulk of the stuff is in the bathroom. We've still got plenty of room to move around and like I say we've got a shower off, um, in the bathroom in the loft so you know it's a squeeze but whatever. We first can world problems. <laughs> first world problems Dan saying. This, we've got a huge bathroom cupboard here uh, and we can still get in there so everything we need access to, towels and all the bathroom stuff is there. I won't be having any of my nice hot baths until the weekend but I can live with that. And then we've got our twisty turny hallway which when I first moved in I fell down these stairs about five times because I kept misjudging the steps. I haven't stored anything, there's quite a little bit of space here at the bottom. I haven't stored anything here because I know the plasterer will be going up and down. Um, so I've got a load of stuff just here inside the door which again you know for a long time would be inconvenient but it's only for two days it's fine. Um, oh and just to give you an idea of my working area as well. So this is what it looks like when you are working from home, editing videos because you're vlogging every day and running an online shop all at the same time at the table. Actually that's a lie, not at the same time. My, the bulk of my time today is working. But as I was reading um, an email and doing a bit of research and reading earlier, I was putting strings on pins. I won't edit until much later, which means this vlog is probably not going to go up until quite late tonight. And then here, yarn, as you've already seen. I mean, this is a fairly typical scene in my house anyway. Random baskets of yarn everywhere. This, however, is not a typical scene. So we have tons of stuff that's come out of the wardrobes. Um, in our room and these two blue packages here I ordered a pillow a new pillow and it wasn't right and I needed to send it back but they said I can return it for free when the shops open again in a few weeks so I thought well I'd rather return it for free so I've got that hanging about but they sent me two in error so I've got I've got two pillows that I need to return so I might actually pop those in my car um, so yeah that's the situation over there and then over here we've got the bedroom mirror <laughs> and a few other things well we're going to have to move all this this is Lilia's painting stuff because not tonight but tomorrow night and the night after our sofa is actually a sofa bed so this is going to be pulled out and this is where Dan and I will be sleeping while the plastering is going on also more boxes photos so there you go a bit stressful I think I'll have a cup of tea it's heavy. Ooh, it's, nice. it's good heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Phoebe and Lydia are both home from school and I they've been very good and Phoebe's been doing washing up because I've had quite a bit of work to do this afternoon. However, I'm coming to the work, end of my working day now, but as usual, I will keep the computer on and probably keep doing bits until about about dinner time, basically, about six half six. Hi. Um, just to mop up anything. I need to do and make me. sure I'm ahead. Um, so we're going to make Dan's birthday cake. Which and is chocolate Guinness cake. It's chocolate Guinness cake. It's from the great Nigella Lawson. It's from this book, Feast. Um, he had this, we, the last time I made this was a long, long time ago, but he, he absolutely loves it. 
and he hasn't requested it in a long time so that's what we're going to make right now right now let's get stuck in i know where to find it by the end of the road hear the oven making that terrible noise in the background it looks amazing it's very damp cake it's a bit like um very brownie-ish like chocolate brownie it needs to cool completely before i can put the topping on so i'm going to cover the topping and get that in the fridge and now i've got to get on to the girls dinner because dan i don't know he only showed his face about 10 minutes ago <laughs> so i don't know what he's been doing upstairs so i've been sort of down here holding the fork with the kids and juggling work and the cooking and the cake and everything I'm feeling a bit tired and I've still got orders to parcel up as well. Mummy so, needs a break. <laughs> Ooh, yes, should, I do. Yes, I do be, need a break. There should be two Mother's Day. Yes, two Mother's Or oh, every Sunday should be Mother's Day. No, that's too much. Oh, that's, oh, that's pushing, pushing my luck apparently. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm just going to get tidied up. Um, the kids are just going to literally have freezer stuff, fish fingers and oven chips and vegetables, steamed vegetables because that's all I can do tonight. I don't know what Dan and I are going to have. We'll ferret about in the freezer and see what we've got. Right, I won't keep you here chatting. I'm going to go and get on. So I'm going to cover the icing to put it in the fridge and this is an idea completely 100% stolen from my friend Gaynor, who is Tales from Cuckoo Land. She saves, or at some point did because it's her I copied this idea from, um, the inside bags from cereal packets and washes them and cuts them up and then it acts as a kind of makeshift cling film so you don't need to get the throwaway cling film and then what I do is I just put an elastic band around it and there you go and then when I'm done with it I wash it, dry it, put it back in the cupboard. I can't keep my mind off things I'd be better off to leave behind Gotta be careful not to get stuck And so I It's coming up for 8 o'clock and I've been flat out organising presents Phoebe's upstairs wrapping her presents for Dan now and editing and sorting the cake out and the girls' dinner <sighs> I need to sit down but I can't because I remembered that I need to eat dinner <laughs> myself. So we've quickly got some um, corn cottage pie out of the freezer and we're just reheating that to have a very quick and simple dinner for Dan and I. Then I'm going to organise giving Dan his birthday eve book. And then um, I'll finish editing this and get that up. And then I might put my feet up and have a Thursday night glass of wine. Because I think I've earned it today, don't you? Song of the day today, Dan, I, I was just saying to Dan, I think I'm not going to do a song of the day because I'm too tired, <laughs> I'm too tired to do it. And he said, I've got a good one. And the song that he's chosen for the song of the day is Human by Rag and Bone Man. And it's a really, really good song. And actually, it's a really perfect song for today, I think. In fact, I might go and put that on now whilst I'm cooking our dinner or rather heating it up in the oven. So, yeah, that's the song of the day. I'll put it on the Spotify playlist. Enjoy. Thank you for coming along with me for this very, very busy day. There's a little bit left of this vlog because we're going to be giving Dan his birthday eve book. It's a tradition in our house that you get a book on your birthday eve. And it comes from when Phoebe, I think, was maybe 
three years old. I had bought her a Peppa Pig book as part of her birthday gifts and hadn't hidden it, just put it on the bed, and she found it. So I said to her, oh, that's because, surprise, it's your birthday Eve book. And from there on, in the birthday Eve book was born. <laughs> and it's a really lovely tradition and one that everybody really looks forward to. And the girls get really excited, even not on their birthdays, but giving the birthday Eve book on um, everybody else's birthday as well. So that's going to be fun to do. So if I don't speak to you properly before uh, the end of the vlog, I hope you have a nice evening or a nice day, depending on when you're watching this, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Happy birthday, Eve! Things I'd be better off to leave behind. Gotta be careful not to get stuck. And so I won't. Can I keep on walking?